guess I'm not a good farmer, Michelle. Maybe I should say a prayer over these. I don't know. Can you see me? Can you see me now? Did you see that? That was cow poop coming out the top of the onion. Parents, if you're not paying attention to what your kids are doing in their school, they're probably not doing it. Where was I going with this? I am on a mission to get these seeds to grow. Well, hi. Welcome back to another fun-filled video. Planting with Michelle. Guess what we're doing today? I will show you. I am having a terrible problem with these seeds. These are Hungarian hot wax. For some reason, I can't get them to grow. And I'm on a mission. Now I'm just on a mission to get something to grow. I planted a little over a dozen of these and maybe two of them came up. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I guess I'm not a good farmer, Michelle. I don't know. So we're gonna do this now. I've got my red solo cups back. They're back in action again. I've got a lot of these and I've got new dirt. My husband went and got me new dirt, a bag of potting soil new dirt with, I, I don't know, he bought it. The bag was too heavy for me to carry so he just did his thing there and we're gonna, we're, oh, oh wait, let me show you this. I've got my little seeds soaking. They've been soaking in this little paper towel thing. They're soaking. So, we're gonna try to get these to grow. Because right now, it's a little bit too late to plant seeds to put them in the garden, I think. Yeah, I think. These were already used cups. This is what I planted them in the first time, so. We'll just keep dump, we'll dump the dirt from cup to cup. Whenever there's some dirt, we'll just fill up the next cup. But I'm gonna try this. I am on a mission to get these seeds to grow. They've been in my greenhouse that I made, and it's been warm in there. So that's not the problem. I mean, it's been really warm in there. And I've not overwatered them. I've cautiously been watering them and just checking them. And they're just not growing. If any of you are having problems with your seeds, let me know because I don't know. Or if you have any tips for me on how to do this and have them actually grow, let me know because I've watched lots and lots and lots of videos on how to get these daggone seeds to grow and they're not working. I, I, they're just not working. I do have some to plant and you do know that I mislabeled some. Well, I no, I didn't mislabel. I just didn't label. So I learned my lesson there. So we'll be labeling these. But I do know I have green peppers too and I kind of know which ones are the green peppers, I think. I planted green peppers that after I like figured out I didn't label good enough and there was a problem and Michelle messed up. Michelle messed up big. I, where was I going with this? Oh, I had to put, I cleaned this more just to make sure and I labeled them really good. So, you know what? I could be wrong on this and I could have all Hungarian hot wax, but I don't think so with the other plants. I don't, I just don't know. Don't know. I'm also wanting to plant some flowers too like start some sunflowers inside, that will be fun because we don't want to feed the squirrels. Every time I plant the stinking sunflowers just outside in a seed, the squirrels get them. And I don't want that to happen this year. I wonder how many I should do. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now, does it? I guess it doesn't matter. This is the last week of be homeschooling, yay. I am so happy about that because let me tell you, parents, if you're not paying attention to what your kids are doing in their school, they're probably not doing it. Don't trust your children to do their own schoolwork. Don't, just don't do it. It's probably not happening. Oh, let me tell you this. In my niece's class, my niece is a senior. She um, was in a Zoom meeting like the last week of her school and they have iPads that they bring home from school. Well, this boy was in the Zoom meeting and he was in his car driving, mind you, driving in his car. And he said, um, I'm gonna go to the school now and get my iPad so I could like do this. Now, they've been in school for how many months now? Weeks, it's been weeks and weeks doing school at home. He's done nothing, the kid's done nothing. Where 
are the kids' parents? Where are you? Your, your boy isn't doing any school and he's probably going to flunk his senior year. There was a lot of work to make up. They had projects they had to complete. Big projects, like senior big projects. Then the kid had the nerve to say, um, am I allowed to leave the Zoom meeting because I'm actually like driving in my car? Really? The teacher told him no. Now that shocked me too. She said, just set, set your phone down and listen to the meeting while you drive. I guess it's no different than listening to the radio, but still. All right, back to planting. I'm going to move you down so you can see what I'm doing down here. Can you see me? Can you see me now? Anybody know where that's from? Isn't that from something? I don't remember. All right, well, let's get our little seeds out of here. We're going to move these out of the way. I hope this works because I'm just on a mission now. This is Michelle's mission. All right, put a little hole. Got a little hole, got a little hole in there. I wanted to can these this year. Maybe that's too deep. I wanted to can these year. Maybe we won't put a hole in. We'll just do it like that. There. I wanted to can these this year because we like them canned that way. Wait for that video. Wonder how you tell. Oh, wonder if you can tell if the seed is good or bad. There's like a little knobby on that one. Maybe that means something. Maybe I'll pick the ones with the little thingies. We're getting ready to plant the garden and hopefully these will just like pop right up and be ready. They might go in a little bit late, but I hope I hope these peppers grow. I'm going to be more cautious this time. And I had them like, I have a heater in there and I had them like closer to the heater side so they would stay warm. Maybe I need a warming mat. If these don't grow, I'm getting a warming mat. And next year when I do this, I'm, I'll have a warming mat. Wonder, you know what? I have enough seeds out here that one, two, maybe I'll, I'm going to just put another one in here just because. I'll just put it over here. And if they grow, maybe one will come up. I'm hoping. I am really hoping. Planting with Michelle. Michelle's going to be planting for a long time. I did plant like onions and um, chives and cilantro. Those are outside and beets. We'll go outside and check those when I'm done here. There we go. Grow little buddy. Maybe I should say a prayer over these. Maybe that's what they need. Last time I had them just a little deeper, I think. So this time I'm not going deep because I want these to grow. I'm on a mission just to get these things to grow. We're labeling. I will never not label my plants again. I learned. Learn from my mistakes, people. Label your plants because in your brain, you're going to think it's working. And it's not, it's not working. You're gonna say in your brain, oh, I'm gonna remember these are this. These are peppers, these are tomatoes. You're not gonna remember if you plant two different kinds of peppers, when they sprout up, they look like the same pepper. If you plant two different kinds of tomatoes, when they sprout up, they look like the same tomato and you're screwed, you're screwed there. So here, I got my little sticks. And these all say Hungarian. And all I'm going to do is put it over here in the dirt. Just like that. Michelle's going to remember what these are because they have little popsicle sticks in them. Little kid craft sticks. These are just little kid craft sticks that I bought. And a permanent, permanent marker. Get a permanent marker because if you don't use a permanent marker, they're going to wipe off. Learn from my mistakes. That happened too. Okay, let's go outside and check the other plants. Okay, these are chai and cilantro, and that's either a cilantro or a weed. I'm not real sure. It came up real quick. But I've got a little, a lot of these whirly bird things in there that I'll probably clean out. Maybe. Well, I've, I might have well, I've been doing that. Over here are my little onions that I'll probably need to water. Oh, what's this? Oh good, cow poop on. Did you see that? That was cow poop coming out the top of the onion. But I've got these. All 
right, well, they look all right. I planted those not even a week ago. All right, let's check out the beets. These I planted a couple days ago. Well, there's something, where did I see it? Oh, right here's something coming up right there. And it's got a red stem. Maybe that's a beet. When you plant a seed and it pops up like days, like two days after, is that normal? Should that be happening? I'm gonna go back in the house. It's a beautiful day out here, but it's kind of windy. I don't even know if you can hear me. But I'm gonna head back in. And if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, come back for more, because let's see if Michelle's Hungarian hot wax peppers grow.